Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today to commemorate <laughs> the anniversary of a tragic loss of a 55th wing RC-135 Cobra Ball aircraft on the remote island of Shemya, Alaska. 40 years ago last month, Cobra Ball tail number 2664 crashed on approach to Shemya Air Force Base, a rugged outpost on the far western tip of the Aleutian Islands. Six brave airmen, Americans, perished in that fiery crash that day, an eternal reminder of the cost of the Cold War and the price of vigilance we often take for granted. The RC-135 reconnaissance aircraft, designated the Cobra Ball, is designed to rapidly collect telemetry and special intelligence on ballistic missiles in flight. Throughout the Cold War, and to the present day, reconnaissance crews from the 55th wing are dispatched on short notice around the world to fly the RC-135 to gather technical intelligence and weapons tests that cannot be attained by any other method. This information is used to verify treaty compliance and to support the continuous development of America's strategic and theater missile defense capabilities. Throughout the Cold War, the Strategic Air Command kept the Cobra Ball on a continuous 24-hour alert status on Shemya Island in the Northern Pacific, affectionately known as the Rock. Their job was to launch at a moment's notice, to keep a watchful eye on Soviet ballistic missile tests co conducted from the Kamchatka Peninsula. On March 15, 1981, the 24 crew members on board the RC-135 were en route to Shemya from Isleson Air Force Base, Alaska, where they had been awaiting for the weather at Shemya to clear. Blizzard conditions and extreme crosswinds were ravaging the small, exposed island. The weather was not uncommon, just another day at the office for the 55th Wing air crews. However, after receiving clearance to land, weather conditions deteriorated rapidly. First-hand accounts from crew members on board described the violent buffeting they experienced on descent. It's like being on the end of a yo-yo. The bell of the aircraft struck the edge of a cliff on the approach end of the runway, shearing off the landing gear. As the damaged aircraft slammed into the runway, engines three and four exploded and the fuselage broke in half. Flames engulfed the crew compartment as the disintegrating aircraft slid 2,000 feet, eventually careening off the runway and down a hill. The scene was chaotic as crew members worked to free themselves and their teammates from the burning wreckage while the blizzard raged. Miraculously, 18 crew members escaped from the flames that day. Their bodies burned and broken. They worked feverishly to extract their fellow airmen from the fiery wreckage. In the end, six men died on that lonely airfield that day. Their names were Major William Bennett, Captain Larry Mayfield, First Lieutenant Lauren Ginter, Master Sergeant Stephen Kish, Staff Sergeant Stephen Balser, and Staff Sergeant Harry Parsons III. We honor their service and their sacrifice and commend their spirit to the Creator. We pray for their families and loved ones who cherish their memory. We also honor the survivors of this tragic crash who will forever bear the scars of their service and the memory of that day. We may never forget what they gave to the cause of freedom and that it was the dedication of warriors like these that won the Cold War. And may we pledge to honor their sacrifice by recommitting ourselves to eternal vigilance in the defense of freedom. I yield back.